What's going on guys? Astro with Hidden Profits Crypto, a channel focused on bringing the best low cap hidden gems and turning you into a smart risk, high reward investor. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new project. I've actually been doing a ton of research into this one and I'm very, very, very excited uh, to bring this to your guys' attention and this is the Caspa Network. Now this is a proof of work DAG blockchain. Now if you guys don't know what that means, uh, we are going to go into it, but it's basically unlimited throughput. Uh, the transactions are like in Instant. We're going to go over pretty much everything that you guys need to know um, right off the bat to know if Caspa is going to be an interesting project to you or not. Um, we're going to go over a little bit of how the project works, how it differs uh, from regular proof of work. We're going to go over a little bit of how DAGs work and how specifically the ghost DAG protocol uh, that's used in this project uh, plays a part in it um, and why I think this project has a ton of potential uh, for growth in the future and can compare very similar to uh, something like Cadena or any of these new version three blockchains that are really kind of hunkering down on the idea of scalability and not sacrificing uh, security and speed um, when it comes to that scalability. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. We got a lot to check out. All right, so here we are at caspanet.org. Now I will leave a link to the website in the description. You guys wanna come through and check it out, but let's go ahead and get started into this. So what is Caspa? Caspa is a proof of work cryptocurrency which implements the ghost DAG protocol. And we'll talk about that a little bit more into the video because you guys will need to understand kind of what ghost DAG does um, to understand how it plays a role in the project. Uh, so unlike traditional blockchains, ghost DAG does not orphan blocks created in parallel, rather allows them to coexist and orders them in consensus whereby our blockchain is actually a block DAG you can see ghost DAG in action in real-time uh, visualizer uh, and that is this right here now this is very very similar uh, all my Cadena boys out there or girls whichever uh, so all my Cadena viewers out there um, you guys kind of will see a similarity in this here this is a visual representation of how the blockchain is basically being built in real time um, Cadena has something very very similar to this kind of uh, showing the chain web uh, but I think that it's awesome when projects have this because it really gives um, you know people that are looking into it a real understanding of kind of how uh, the blockchain is created so you can see here uh, all these different blocks uh, coming down and then these lines are referencing the previous block to make sure that everything is on track and and validated and all that kind of stuff now I don't want to get too technical for the people who might not be uh, in the real technical realm uh, but I will give you guys enough information to kind of understand um, what's going on here now this is a, more or less a DAG um, and that's where these blocks are being put down um, but they're actually being ordered and uh, referenced in a certain way and that's where that ghost DAG protocol uh, comes into play now this generalization of Nakamoto consensus allows for secure operation while maintaining very high block rates currently one block per second and they're aiming for 10 blocks per second and dreaming of a hundred blocks per second and a minuscule confirmation time dominated by internet latency so the caspa implementation includes a lot of cool features and sub protocols including reachability to query the DAG's typology uh, data block pruning SPV proofs and later subnet support which will make future implementation of layer 2 solutions much easier so caspa is a community project completely open source no central governance no biz model think of uh, bitcoin litecoin monero grin caspa so the mainnet was openly launched without any pre-mine or other pre-allocation of coins uh, it is completely open source so you guys can check out the github uh, i'm trying to remember to put a link in the description so you guys can check that out also you can see that they're active and working on that um, pretty often uh, so what is caspa can I understand how it works without reading a long research paper? Uh, so they have a friendly overview uh, and we're gonna check this out in just a second, but I wanna finish up on some of the other information here on the website. Now you guys can check out the Discord server. They have a Telegram channel as well as a subreddit uh, and then you can follow them on Twitter if you would like to. So Caspa also uses the heavy hash hashing algorithm and this hash was chosen by the community in a open discussion a day before the mainnet 
was launched. So uh, how can you get some Caspa uh, so you can trade it on these exchanges, TXBit? Um, I've honestly never heard of either one of these. Uh, so yeah, and you can also get it through the trading channel in their Discord if you would like. But um, this is a mineable coin, so if you have uh, GPUs, uh, it used to be CPU mineable, but I don't really think it's worth uh, worth it now. Uh, now, you can mine it with GPUs, but another cool thing that I found about this project is they do plan in the future to move to optical proof of work. Now, uh, without going into a bunch of technical detail, it's more or less proof of work mining, but instead of using an ASIC, you're really using like lasers. Uh, it's actually quite a like really mind-boggling thing uh, to look at. So, you know, if you guys have never looked at optical proof of work, I suggest checking it out. It's really interesting. Um, so, and there's also bounties. So a lot of community members offer bounties for people to contribute to the Caspa community and Ecosphere by running servers, writing tutorials, etc. cetera. Uh, so you can check out some of the uh, bounties here in this Discord channel uh, if you would like to. Um, now they go over the total supply of Caspa. You guys can read through this if you would like to. Um, and then they have some information on on how to set up a Caspa wallet. Now I will make sure to put a video out here shortly as long as you guys enjoy this video on how to set up a Caspa wallet and how to actually get uh, some Caspa from the faucet into your wallet uh, and that will get you your first KAS uh, ready to go. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, make sure to leave a like and uh, drop a comment. But we're gonna go ahead and move over to these articles. I think there's a lot of good information in here that can kind of uh, piece this together a little bit better for you guys to understand. So let's go ahead and head over there. All right, so here we are over here at the Medium articles. Now, I will leave the links to these articles down in the description if you guys want to read through them fully. There is a ton of technical stuff in here uh, that, you know, if you're not some sort of computer programming or, you know, whatever... Uh, computer science major you might not understand a lot of what they're talking about so I kind of tried to go through here and bring out the most important things that are more easy to understand so it's astonishing to see how fast the Caspa community is growing but as Caspa gains more traction and popularity it becomes obvious to me that most people don't know what Caspa actually is so Caspa is a broad term which describes a complicated system with many components and aspects but at its core Caspa is a implementation of the ghost DAG protocol which was first conceptualized by Yonatan Sablinsky, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, and Aviv Zohar. Uh, so in 2016, the entire following post is dedicated to describing this particular aspect of CASPA. So I've done quite a bit of research into these guys, uh, more or less Yonatan, to kind of get an idea of his background and just some of the things that he has done before this. So he actually founded something called DAG Labs, and this is where he's kind of gone through the process of exploring uh, DAGs and how they work and how to make them uh, scalable and secure and to just work how they really should work, uh, specifically like kind of the ordering process of the blocks. Now, I suggest you guys come here. Uh, you know, he's a postdoc at Harvard. Uh, he's very smart, and there is a ton of resources on YouTube for you guys to check out talks where he's kind of explained uh, the Phantom Spectre or Ghost DAG protocol. That's kind of the, the evolution. So if you hear Phantom Spectre or Ghost DAG, they're, they're pretty much all the same thing, but just more upgraded versions of each other where Ghost Dag is pretty much the um, superior, um, more conceptualized version of the other two. So cryptocurrencies are often very complicated and a lot of users tend to forego on fully understanding the promise of one coin or another, which is fine. But I think the true power of Ghost Dag is in its simplicity. So Ghost Dag is a very gentle generalization of the Nakamoto consensus. And unlike many coins, I believe that anyone who understands Bitcoin can easily understand Ghost Dag, what it is to achieve and how it achieves it. So furthermore, I hope I can convince you that Ghost Dag offers a simple, though very hard to implement solution to the core scaling issue uh, presented in the Nakamoto consensus, i.e. in any proof of work based blockchain, uh, whereby it might have the potential to replace Bitcoin and Ethereum as the layer one framework, which could carry a decentralized global scale economy. So, um, you know, something I kind of wanted to point out, um, you know, again, for any of my Cadena people here, I think this might kind of connect the dots a little bit more. Uh, so, you know, there's multiple different ways to go about scaling uh, when it comes to proof of work. So Cadena really just found out one way of doing it, and that was using like graph theory and a lot of these other things, um, you know, Merkle roots and Merkle proofs and all a bunch of things um, that most people just don't understand and go completely over your head, right? Um, but 
you know through this they found one way to do it now here with caspa this is how to scale uh proof of work blockchain but in a different way and this is using uh the concept of a dag now we're going to go over to this article right here and this is where it kind of explains what a block dag or what a dag is so a dag is a directed acyclic graph and it is a graph where every node that you add can point to any number of existing nodes and we can intuitively see how dags can help us solve the fork problem uh, if the main chain could point to the forced blocks their work would not be discarded when facing an attacker so basically how it works is is instead of these blocks being put down one at a time whereas if we look at this article right here uh, it kind of explains how Bitcoin works right so you have a block then you have another block and you have another block and those blocks are all referencing each other and they're chained together this is what is making the block chain right but with a DAG instead of just having simply you know uh, one block and one block you have exactly in this visual representation you have all the blocks kind of going down at once and then you have this ghost dag protocol which is coming in and ordering these blocks and seeing how they need to reference each other to make sure that there's no attackers or double spend or anything like that so one of the first questions that arises when dealing with a block dag is how should the block and transactions be ordered because the dag can have many parallel blocks that can include conflicting transactions we need to find a deterministic way to order it the ordering mechanism should take attackers into account so if there are any transaction conflicts the attackers blocks will come last uh, so, you know, I, again, I really suggest you guys come through and check out these articles, even if you don't understand every single thing. I think it really can give you a better idea uh, of how this is all working. If, if you know, this isn't enough to kind of make you understand. Um, it is very technical and it is a very um, hard concept if you're not into this kind of stuff. But this is where I try to um, relay the information the best way I can understand it to you guys so you can understand it a little bit more. Now, this is where I wanted to come in and just kind of talk about uh, the project and what I kind of think um, this will go in the future now this is very very early the KAS token is um, not worth very much I think it's like 0. 0.0006 or something like that right um, but uh, it's not on very many exchanges I don't really think a lot of people understand Caspa or even know about it yet um, if we do go to their Twitter page real quick you can see right here that they don't even have 2,000 uh, followers yet and they joined in November of 2021 so uh, you know come over here and uh, follow Follow them if you guys would like to uh, but I really really think that this project has a ton of potential um, now one of the last things I wanted to do is just doing research for this video and going through pretty much uh, every talk uh, that Yonatan did on YouTube um, there is a bunch of them um, you know great resources for you guys to learn but uh, there was one that was a little bit newer that had a clip at the end kind of summarizing Caspa so uh, to wrap this video up I just wanted to roll through that the next thing I wanted to discuss is the Caspa network. It's an open source implementation of, uh, okay, it says greedy funds and should say GhostDuck. It's an open source implementation of GhostDuck and it's not just a simulation of a proof of concept. It's an actual implementation. It has validation, it has difficulty adjustments and pruning and finality, and its nodes are running on, uh, on uh, reasonably strong hardware and this network has not never been stress tested we don't know how what's the trans maximal transaction load it could carry but we can see just from watching it operate that it easily without any effort supports 40 transactions per second which is already orders of magnitude more than bitcoin and what we did test is the waiting time for the first confirmation you can see all the data here notes that the the, the, the y-axis is a, is, a, is a exponential. And we see that the first confirmation um, of any block, uh, within 10 seconds, 70% uh, of the transactions were already got their um, first confirmation. Within 10 minutes, virtually all of them, 99 plus nine, the largest observed time was about uh, 13 minutes. And um, when we tested it on more than a, uh, not more than almost half a million uh, randomly generated transactions. And so we see that uh, if even if you wait for 10, 15, 20 transactions, you will wait several minutes and not hours like in the Bitcoin network. So we already see the benefits of this network. 
and this implementation is fully fully available uh, online for anyone who wants to to poke or run with it. And in the paper, we do some other stuff. We show some other greedy variants. We discuss what can we do with the bad blocks, and we give formal proofs and uh, more analysis of the confirmation time. And that's about it. That's uh, all I wanted. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this gave you a ton of valuable information on the CASPA project. I am very, very excited to see where this project goes. Like I said, I'm going to make a video on how to set up a wallet and how to get your first KAS into your wallet. Uh, so if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure to subscribe and tick that notification bell to see when that video and other content similar to this comes out. Uh, leave a comment. I really want to know what you guys think about CASPA and kind of how um, you know it could compete with Cadena and some of these other blockchains that are popping up that have their own ways of solving you know kind of the the trilemma issue so it's very interesting to see uh and i really really just don't want to get super tribalistic and just only be with cadena when i think there is a ton of other technologies um that are popping up you know probably every day that have just as much potential to be uh, a crazy project um in the future so um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like um follow me at hidden underscore crypto on twitter if you guys want to get even more in depth with my content uh all my other links are in the link tree link in the description um, but until next time i'll see you guys later peace